Today I am going over many things you need to know about T-Mobile's home internet. It is available more widely than it has been and it was it is only going to continue to grow in its availability. So today I'm going through some frequently asked questions and letting you know the details of T-Mobile home internet so you know what to expect when you sign up for it. I'm Sherry Riggs, this is Whistle Out TV. If this video ends up helping you or you just want to see more from me and Whistle Out, please be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and of course, turn on those notifications. Every little bit helps and I appreciate the support. Now let's jump right into T-Mobile Home Internet and all of the details about it. So on the surface, signing up for and getting your T-Mobile Internet going is really easy. You just have to go to the website, type in your address to make sure that you qualify for T-Mobile home internet in your area. You just need to order the gateway, download the app, and then you are off to the races and good to go to start using T-Mobile's wireless internet. But that's not all there is to it. There are some little tips and tricks along the way and some things to expect after you've used the service for a second or two, according to reports and from people I know. So let's get into those. So first and foremost, T-Mobile has only one internet plan to choose from. It is not cable, it is not fiber, it is through their wireless network. So you just get a gateway that connects to the T-Mobile signal in your area, it connects to the closest tower, and you're really just using a cell phone signal for your home internet, and that gateway distributes it to your home and is able to use it on all your devices. So that's what T-Mobile's home internet is and their one plan costs $60 a month, but oftentimes they have deals right now. You can get a deal for $50 a month if you auto pay, but that deal might come and go by the time you have watched this video, but always check T-Mobile's site because there is always deals going on for their home internet. So you can be sure to be paying around $50 to $60 a month for T-Mobile's home internet. Okay, so that was the cost. What are the speeds you can expect? This is where it gets a little bit tricky. In the beginning, T-Mobile promised 100 Mbps speeds for all of their customers. And that was a pretty lofty promise being able to offer that because sometimes even cable companies can't promise that and you have to pay extra to be able to just potentially get those speeds. So to have a promised speed of 100 Mbps was pretty impressive, but as time has gone on, as more people have been using the service, it has become very apparent that 100 megabits per second is not the standard. And in fact, on T-Mobile's website, it says they expect some users to get an average of 100 megabits per second, but the average user can expect at least 25 megabits per second. And that is just dismal, that is sad. So you can expect, I guess, what I'm trying to say here is for $50 to $60 a month, you can get between 25 and 100 Mbps internet speeds. Now, I don't recommend anybody who uses data heavily to go with T-Mobile. I think T-Mobile is definitely for light data users, people who work from home but don't need to upload content should be just fine for video calls and the like, but heavy internet users, probably not for you. So this is probably a good time to put in there in the little cliff notes of this video that with cable or fiber plans, you can always pay more and upgrade your speeds. With T-Mobile, it's one set plan, one set of speeds, that's all you get. And you just gotta kinda cross your fingers and hope that the internet service in your area is good every day so that your service is not interrupted. But yeah, you only get one plan to choose from, one set of speeds to choose from. 25 to 100 is about what you'll get. This isn't fiber, this isn't cable. You're not connected to a system of wires running through the ground. You are just connected, like your cell phone connects to an internet signal or to a cell phone signal. Your home T-Mobile internet will connect to that same cell phone signal if you have T-Mobile. So it's wireless. The only cable on the gateway is the power cord and everything else is just done through the internet, the ether sphere, I don't freaking know what to call it, but you get the idea. <laughs> it's wireless, it runs off of a cell phone signal and that's how T-Mobile home internet works. As for reviews and experiences with T-Mobile internet, a few friends have used it, a bunch of people I know have used it for the first month. It generally stays pretty good, 
over 100 Mbps, my friend was getting 200 to 250 regularly. Then after the first month, speeds kind of plummeted and dropped off. And if you look online and read reviews and chat with other YouTubers, that has been their experience as well. It was awesome at first and then slowly started creeping down and becoming worse and worse and worse. The nice thing about this is if T-Mobile internet stops working for you, if it doesn't keep up with your lifestyle, there's no contract. So you can cancel whenever you want and you will be get out scotch free and you can switch back to whatever cable or fiber company you were with before or whatever your next best option is. So there is no contract and just keep in mind that Speeds might stay great for you this whole time. Maybe these are just negative experiences that are just being louder than the rest, but this is just something to be aware of. This is just an FYI. Now, T-Mobile can't really troubleshoot these speeds. What they have told people in my life to do is move the gateway closer to an east or west facing window to the nearest T-Mobile tower. So that is gonna be your fix from T-Mobile home internet. There's not gonna be a lot of help they can offer you. So. Just keep that in mind all together. Best case scenario, you have cheap internet with great speeds forever and I hope that for you. <laughs> Worst case scenario, you have good internet which slowly drops off and then you're paying for 20 megabit per second speeds and it's just not going to be worth it but it never hurts to try. To close out this video, let's just take a look at the good and the bad, the positive and the negative. The good, price point is pretty decent, but good. Hypothetically, you're gonna get pretty awesome speeds ranging between 25 and 100, hopefully sticking around the 100 Mbps range. So if everything goes according to plan, you have a great service. Now the bad is it's a cell phone signal, it's based off of cell phone towers. So if T-Mobile's network gets congested, your service will get congested. So that is one bad thing. Overall, best case scenario, T-Mobile internet could be a good option for you. Worst case scenario, you spend 60 bucks one month, you don't like it, you cancel it, and then you go on to the next. So overall, not a bad idea to try it if you're looking for something new, but just keep in mind these woes that can happen to you and have happened to other people. Okay, that's it. I'm Sherry Riggs, you're watching Whistle Loud TV. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And that's it for today, bye.